bollocks. Well, why do I say that? If you download your E minor sevenths, well, you're gonna, it should be E minor seventh. Um, I've gone and done a stupid thing and I've called it E minor. So I'm gonna change it now in front of your very eyes. <laughs> okay, so when you download your paperwork, it'll say E minor, it should say that, E minor seven. So do a screenshot of that, I can't be asked doing it again. All right, you can do this, you're clever enough. I haven't got the technology skills to do it, you see, I'm thick when it comes to that. All right, I can remember a song that's 40 years old and I can still play it. I couldn't tell you how many sugars you have in your tea, you told me two seconds ago. By the time I got to the door, it's gone, all right? I'm getting old, forgive me for that, it's a stupid mistake. The last one, of course, is an E minor, all right? So they're the two E minor, there's the ones I've just added there, so forgive me if you look at yours and it's not there. There's our D and there's that. Now, down here, we'll give you the timings of what we're gonna do. Bum, bum, da, 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 we'll get to that now. All right, so let me play a bit of the song. And I want you to pay particular attention to my right hand as I'm playing this. You'll notice that it's, sorry. in the hand. It's like a tambourine. Tap, 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 tap. Imagine a tambourine player, the way the hand always moves. Okay, so here we go. I'll play the, along with it. And then into your chordy thing. Right, let's have a close look at what we're doing here. On the E minor 7th, yours says E minor, but it should be E minor 7th, as I've just explained. Okay, E minor, little finger down there, okay? You're gonna hit the 6th string, according to your piece of paper. One and, okay, one and is the 6th, and then two and three and four and the rest of the chord. But you're gonna play it like this. When it says 6 and then another 6, I don't want you to do this. I want you to go. You see the way the hand follows through? How do we do that? We sort of slice at it. Okay. You know, and it's quite scruffy the way he plays Neil Young. It's cool, you know. So I'll do it slowly. One and, and then all the way down. Two and three and four. Now, can you see the way my hand, it's called vamping, it goes. It's like it sort of slightly damps the notes off once they've been played rather than yes. and that, that's how he gets his distinctive sound you'll often see a lot of players doing this and it, it's not a nervous twitch it's it's called vamping all right so so bum, bum, bit of palm muting One, two, three, okay now how do you count it on the bar one and two and three and four and I'll do it again. And then the next bar you've got one and two. One and sorry, one and two. See it there? One, one and two. And then the half beat, the and after the two, you jump straight back to an E minor. silent as well. I'll do it again. One and two and three. Then hammer onto the fifth string. Just bring all your fingers off. It doesn't matter. Hammer back onto the, to the fifth string of the second fret. Bring your uh, fingers back off and hit the fourth string open. And then put your fingers back on and hit the fourth string again. You'll see it there. See? To the hammer. Du -dum, dum dum now it's much easier rather than look at numbers to, in your head to go boom boom da 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 bam ba bam 
do 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 dum boom boom cha 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 bam 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 do 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 boom boom bam 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 and if you accidentally catch the strings now and again on the way up good because that's what he does Then we get into the harmonica bit. Okay, I'm not going to go into much detail with it. Dead easy. It's just strumming up uh, down again all down strokes, and you throw the occasional upstroke in as you're changing chord. Here are our chords: E minor, C, D, and G. Okay. So imagine the harmonica. How do we count it? It's the same as before: one and two and three and four and. And each bar here is split between two chords. In the first instance, it's E minor and C. One and two and three and four and then to D. One and two and three and four and. Now, there's always a big thing about can you play open strings when you're changing chords, right? And lots of teachers out there say, no, certainly not. And then as soon as you watch them play in something, particularly if it's fast, they do exactly what they've told you not to do. So do it, because people won't hear it. If you think of E minor, look at, at the open strings in E minor. There's tons of open strings, look at G. E minor. You know, how many times have you heard a rhythm like this? Great. Now clearly you wouldn't do open strings if you were doing, you know, like an E minor, uh, sorry, uh, an E flat minor or something. <laughs> Sounds shit. But when you're playing down the open end, they sound great. So don't be afraid if, you ch if you're struggling to change chord to catch some open strings on the way up. For example, say you're starting off with this song and you're going to go one and two and. Bring your fingers off for now and hit the and with no fingers on while you change into C. One and two and. making a meal of it, but can you, it doesn't sound crap, does it? And if you listen to Neil Young, you'll hear that's what he's doing. You know, you might not know he's doing it, as the teachers that say, don't do it. No, clearly, let's get this right. If it's a really slow song, then you don't need to do it. But if you're playing something really fast, you got no choice, and it sounds great. Especially if you're using G's and E minors and A minors and all that stuff. So anyway, here's our harmonica bit done, okay? When you get to the end of this, it will tell you to repeat this twice. And then you will do the introduction that we just did before once again, all right? And then we're going to get to this sheet, sheet number three. And it's just going to lay out what's going to happen. And what I've done is because the chords are changing, you know, halfway through the thing, I've sort of laid it out like this. I've not used the long um, chord diagrams because we're, we're up in the, th the first three frets all the time, okay? So all the chords you need to play are on here. Now you'll notice this says verse. So I'll play this bit now. So where you see these coming in, this is the verse. So when he starts singing, we go to that. Okay, so. This is still the harmonica bit. I'll turn it up a bit. My hand. Intro. Verse. E minor. C. G. G. E minor. C. G. G. E minor. C. G. G. E minor. So did you notice that little offbeat there where he goes? And I'm getting old. So we need to look at that. What's going on there? 
we've got our C. One and two and three and four and one and two and. And you see the way it jumps to that G on the and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I'll play that and I'll do that silly head thing when I do an offbeat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, I'll play it with the track again. Now again, watch this. I want to put some upstrokes in between these. And that's great. I'm not going to go into too much detail. You'll do that anyway. You'll do it just because you'll do it. Because your hand's moving that way. Okay, let's do it. to tell you there was more to do on that song but there isn't all right remember think of the phrasing phrasing boom boom da 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 ba da da do do da da boom boom watch this and boom when you're doing the bass note boom boom da 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 ba da da do 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 hand is always moving as you play the song da 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 and if you sometimes put a few upstrokes in, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been, it's been a long, long day. All right, so um, uh, can't drop me play. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave it there. All right. Uh, tomorrow we'll do something. Um, we'll do some Nora Jones. All right. I think I need to, <laughs> I think I need some sleep. All right. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, just go for it. You know. Please don't overthink it. If you overthink it, you'll make a right pig's ear of it, all right? So um, if you get stuck, you're always welcome to come message me and I will I will help you, all right? So uh, on that note, oh, by the way, get your mates to subscribe. I'm doing well on the old subscriptions. They're going up and up. But, um, you know, as I said to you before, my son, Sam, he's, uh, he's a bit ahead of me, you know. I've got about 2,400 and he's got... Uh, 240,000 <laughs> which he enjoys reminding me of so get us a few more it would go down well all right see you next time take care bye bye